if there was a way that you would describe NFTs to like uh, to somebody that has no idea what you're talking about, they they you say an NFT and they just glaze over and then they start spewing out words like like you said like Ponzi scheme or something like when you first originally were talking about crypto, people are accepting of crypto now. Just but w- what about NFTs? Uh, how would you explain it to them? Unique crypto. If you're accepting of crypto and you are accepting that one Bitcoin is equal to one Bitcoin, you should also be accepting that one something else may not be equal to something else. One Jonathan doesn't equal one Gary. They're just We're just different. So NFTs are nothing more than an amount of unique items or existences of that item. So if we took this video of you and I and we turned it into an NFT and we said anybody that wants to buy it can pay 10 bucks and buy it and we're only going to sell it today and, and if 100 people buy it, then there's 100 copies. Then what we would do is we would mint 100 instances of this and every person would own one instance. Now, I know the, the rule is, well, yeah, but I could just right click and save it or I could just screenshot it, or I could screen record it and you could and that's all true facts, but you wouldn't own it. You can go to a museum and you can take a picture. You can go to the movie theater and you can hold up your cell phone and you can record a movie. You don't own the rights to it. You don't own the access that comes with it. So all an NFT is, is a unique existence of something. And that's it. It's a non-fungible token. You and I are non-fungible. Dollar bills are fungible. One dollar can exchange for one dollar. Our houses, they're non-fungible. Land is non-fungible. So anything that can't be exchanged that's truly unique. So all of these like board apes and all these things, like all they did was they said, we're going to have 10,000 unique tokens and we're going to represent them as a picture. So every picture is different. Every giraffe is different. It could have a different background or a different hair or a different fur. But at the end of the day, what's really different is it's token ID. So there's a contract, and there's a token ID. And there will only ever be one token number one and one token number two out of the 10,000 in circulation. And if you own token number two, then that's what you own. Even if the image changed or anything else, you will always own token number two. So that's how I would explain it. It's, it's kind of like a unique crypto, and that's it. We're just, you're just playing with supply and demand. It's, I tell a lot of people it's a lot like a country club, but it's an equity country club. So if the new country club was opening and they looked at everybody and they said, for $1,000, you can buy a membership, we're going to sell 1,000 of them. Even in that instance, that's kind of like an NFT. You can go buy your membership. You own it. There's 1,000 of them that exist. That's all that will ever exist. You own one of 1,000. So it doesn't have to be truly unique. It can be one of 1,000. But it can't be interchangeable for one of 1,000 of the next country club down the street. It's only for that one country club. And then the way supply and demand and real business works is, well, they have to sell those first thousand. And then as they start to, now more people want to get in because now a new family moves to town or now something new and somebody will pay more than the last person or pay more than the next person. And there may be a time where nobody wants the country club and the price goes down and now you can get it on sale. We call that buying the dip. You just get it on sale because what goes down always goes back up. So that's the way I explain it. It gets long-winded. There's no easy way, unfortunately, because everybody has a little bit different baseline knowledge. Everybody has a little bit different opinion or a little bit different um, limiting belief around what they are. Um, So it really takes a more in-depth conversation for almost everyone, unfortunately. I wish there was an easier way. Did you know that we have a Discord server? Come and join the conversation about things like entrepreneurship, monetization methods, YouTube, blockchain technologies, and more. See you over there.